an organized way for people in the community to work through the Red Cross and serve others in a time of need. And corporate employees volunteer their help for when disaster strikes. The St. Louis chapter of the American Red Cross is teaming up for a new partnership. It's designed to recruit corporate employees to serve as Red Cross volunteers during a large-scale disaster. CW11's Kelly Hoskins has more. Today's shelter drill provided an overview of the emergency services the American Red Cross makes available to victims of disaster. Is there anybody we need to call for you? No, I don't have any other family here. It's about training and accessing volunteers in the corporations to help us prepare before a disaster actually happens. And just last night, a report of several injuries and at least four deaths from a half-mile wide tornado that destroyed parts of Greensburg, Kansas Friday evening. At least 75 to 90 percent of the town was destroyed. We've got uh, two Red Cross shelters open right now, housing 300 people there at, at this time as we speak. So it just goes to show you that, you know, people didn't go to bed last night thinking that a tornado was going to touchdown. And back here at home, more than 100 people participated in today's simulation, which focused on registration procedures, cot setup, distribution of bedding, food preparation, and delivery. And over the past year, the American Red Cross has opened up various shelters on three different occasions as a result of the severe weather. Now the local experience serves as a reminder to be prepared for the unexpected. Anything that is unplanned, when people get displaced and they need places to stay and they need help, it's an organized way for people in the community to work through the Red Cross and serve others in a time of need. The Ready When the Time Comes program means St. Louis volunteers will like to be prepared to lend a helping hand when it's needed the most. I think that St. Louis should be very um, commendable to the Red Cross in their efforts to get prepared for disasters that will take place in the city of St. Louis and the surrounding area. A little giving, a small amount of time of giving means a lot to someone that we may not know of reaching out. Kelly Hoskins, CW11 News. Now, the program has expanded and become a national pilot. St. Louis is one of 16 markets where it's being introduced. About